Clinton ratebook user blows lid off real reason she supports Trump. Juanita Broderick has long alleged that she was raped by former President Bill Clinton in 1978, when he was running to become the governor of Arkansas. As a result, many people have questioned why she supports President Donald Trump, who has been accused by multiple women of sexual misconduct. On Monday, Broderick took to Twitter to explain that she supported Trump because she knew he was the only one who could prevent her alleged rapist Bill Clinton, and his wife and enabler Hillary Clinton, from making it back to the seat of power. Why did I support President Trump? She asked. I was raped by Bill Clinton and threatened by Hillary Clinton. I supported the one person who I believed had the chance of preventing my rapist and his enabler from being sent to the White House and back in the seat of power. In an earlier tweet, she explained that in regard to the accusations against Trump, all allegations of sexual assault should be respectfully heard and given a fair assessment. Still, she noted, I can only speak to my situation because I was there and lived it. During the 2016 election, Broderick attended one of the presidential debates as a guest of Trump, just days after the October 2016 release of the infamous Access Hollywood tape. Trump could be heard in the recording making inappropriate comments about women. Actions speak louder than words, Broderick said at the time, according to CNN. Mr. Trump may have said some bad words, but Bill Clinton raped me and Hillary Clinton threatened me. I don't think there's any comparison. Her latest comments on Trump came the same day several of the president's accusers appeared on Megyn Kelly today to detail their accusations against the president. Trump has denied all of the allegations against him. Broderick did an interview Monday with Fox News host Martha McCallum in which she said she was disappointed that Time magazine did not include her comments in their Person of the Year story. This year, Time honored the Silence Breakers as its Person of the Year, a reference to all those who have come forward as part of the Hash Me Too movement to allege that they were harassed, assaulted or even raped. Well, it was disappointing to me, Martha. They had called to ask me and asked if I would be interested in participating in a story that they were doing about the Me Too movement, Broderick said, according to the Washington Free Beacon. I was very happy to do that. I supported these women. I thought they were brave women and I told her, yes, I would be happy to submit a comment. And then a few days went by and I was so happy when they were declared Person of the Year, and when I went to look for my comments, they weren't there she added. That disappointed me. Did me.